fourth grade. Hope you're having a great day. Mrs. Ryan here. Today we are going to complete our area of triangles maze. You'll find that on page five of your purple packet. So just turn to page five. I can't show you mine because I already completed mine and I don't want to show you my answer. So I made this copy. It looks a little different because the boxes are kind of filled in, but it's fine. It's the same thing. Um, anyway, so you need your purple packet, page five the maze. You need a calculator? Well, maybe not. Most of these are actually pretty easy calculations that we should be able to do in our head, but if you want to check your work, you can use a calculator. And then I suggest using a highlighter or a bright colored marker. Maybe even a colored pencil would be fine for the maze. Um, not just a pencil this time. Let's um, put a little color into it. So page five of your purple packet, calculator if you need it, and uh, some kind of marking utensil. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the screen around. Boop. There we go. Okay, oh yeah, mine got cut off a little bit there. That's okay though. Let's read the directions. They read, begin at the box under the large arrow. So here's the large arrow, start here. Find the area for the triangle shown. All right, so I guess we need to find the area of this triangle. And follow your choices to the next box. It looks like our choice answers for this box are 10, 20, and 9. Continue through the maze until you reach the end box down here, the end box. You may only choose paths with arrow that point away from the box you are currently on. Okay, that makes sense because you're going away from the box. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. So we have a triangle that is uh, height is four and base is five. Now I'm going to use, um, let me get a pen here. I'm going to use um, just base times height divided by two equals area squared. Some of you might use half base times height equals area squared, that's fine. But this one's, that one's my personal favorite. I just like to, you know, act as though it's a rectangle because rectangles are base times height, right? But since a triangle is half of a rectangle, you have to divide by two. So I know that four times five is 20 and 20 divided by two is 10. If I really needed to check that, I'm like, eh, I don't know, maybe four times five isn't 20. Four times five equals 20 divided by two equals 10. Look at that. So our answer options were nine, 20, and 10. We know the answer is 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight or color in that path. So we started here and now we are on this triangle. And this triangle is a nine times four. So we need to take nine times four, which is 36, right? And what's 36 divided by two, everyone? Is it 18, 36, or 13? Hopefully you got 18. You need to check your work. You would just go nine times four equals 36 divided by two equals 18. Boom. So 18 is our answer. So it looks like we're going down. Now you can see how they are a little tricky on this maze because here's 36 as an answer. If you forget to half your, um, your product of nine times four, you're gonna think it's 36 and you're gonna get the wrong answer. Same thing happened with this first triangle actually, five times four is 20. If you stopped at that point in the equation, you could have picked 20 and went here. So that would actually be incorrect. You would not get through the maze properly. You have to, have to, have to make sure to hack your triangles. Have to hack. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you're gonna work your way around to the end. Your teacher should be able to easily distinguish if you took the correct path because you're highlighting the way. So there's gonna be a lot of these that are left empty or blank. Now, if you have time, you don't have to, but if you have time, I'm gonna show you what this um, paper looks like if it was printed in color. 
it's actually really pretty. Let's see. Share. So I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Here it is. So um, you can see that the boxes are colored like this. I don't know. It looks really pretty. So if you want to, you can do something to all the triangle boxes. You can color those in if you want. If it's really pretty, maybe your teacher will hang it up for you. Um, I know I would like to hang some up. So anyway, there you go. And if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to your teacher, Mrs. Steinle, Mrs. Walker, or myself.